hello everyone welcome back to bit to bit learning so today we are going to learn about truncated statement in mysql okay how it will work how we'll use it how what is the syntax of it okay so we are going to uh, learn about the truncated statement so before starting this uh video lectures uh, i just wanted to know you guys like i have already ma uploaded many videos related to my sql so i will provide the link in description box you can easily access those videos okay and you can go through those videos so that you can get the depth knowledge i mean for beginners it is a very good uh, videos which which are whichever i have provided so if you are also liking this video or if you if, if you have any concern on that if you are not getting anything which i have explained you can also comment so that i can improve also so this is a learning place for me also with you guys okay so before starting i would just uh, a small i would just make one small request like please uh, hit the subscribe button if you are getting 1% of my videos i mean if you are getting anything if, if you are learning 1% from my videos please hit the subscribe button like and share with your friends okay so without wasting time we'll move forward with today's topic okay so our topic is truncated statement so first we'll understand what is truncated statement so this truncated statements that we use to remove the data from table so this uh, this will work similar to delete a statement but what is the difference between delete and truncated statement is that truncated statement will remove all the data in one go it i mean whatever the data in table if you will use the truncate truncated statement all the data will be removed in one one line query okay but when we will use the delete statement we have to give the where clause and it will uh, delete the data one by one okay so this is the basic difference between truncate and delete statement okay so just i have already written like this is this will remove all the data but not the table structure and this also i, I have already explained like the delete delete statement i mean uh, the delete statement will uh, delete the data one by one but the tr truncate statement will remove all the data in one go okay and we can also uh, there is one uh, important thing like when you are deleting one record you can roll back okay but when you are using the truncate statement you cannot roll back that records i mean once the table is deleted all the records have deleted from that table using the truncate statement you cannot roll back so before truncating any table make sure you are 100% sure like you are deleting the right table i mean whatever the operations you are performing you are performing the correct operations okay so i have already told you this point so let's get uh, started with the topic like how it will work so this mysql truncate statement this this thing is like its syntax is like truncate table and table name so first uh, before starting we j we just wanted to know like whatever the tables we have so for this we will use so tables command so what will this command will do this command will uh, so all the table that are present in the database whatever the table i have created that is present in the database okay so when i will execute it i can see these are the tables which are in our database so what i will do i will copy these tables okay and i will select each table one by one and see what is the data inside it okay so let me just copy paste this query and apply it for all the tables see we have this many tables so in customer table we can see these are the data is there okay like id name product country and year in imp new and whatever the i have explained in previous videos i have already used this table imp and i have created this imp uh, rename this imp table to imp new table so all the details are there and in employee table we can see these two records are there and in a student table we can see these records are there okay so we want to truncate let's suppose this employee table we don't want because that is not uh, containing that very much data and that is not relevant to my use okay 
so we can delete this and we can truncate this or maybe uh, we want to insert a fresh data and not uh, we don't want to we don't want the existing data okay so what we will do we will just use the truncate command like truncate after that table this is the syntax and after that table name so first we want to delete this employee so when we'll do this so make sure when i'm deleting this data now this all will delete and this will not roll back okay if i want to insert this data again so we have to use the insert query okay so when i'm using this truncate statement and we'll do this so you can see in this employee when i will run this you can see this table is empty okay so let's suppose i can perform this operation on another table also so let's suppose i want to uh, delete this customer table so this customer table is containing so much of data you can see here see seven data it contains okay and i want to truncate this table so what i will do i will write truncate table and this customer what is the name of the table that is the customer so when i will do and i will execute this this all data will be vanished thus all the table structure will be there so when i will run this again so you can see all the data is removed nothing is there okay so this is how this uh, truncate statement work so i hope this is clear i have uh, i have tried to simplify each and everything still there is any doubt please comment and also comment at whatever the uh, other topics you want to understand so that i can start from the basics okay so yeah that's it for today if you like this video please hit the subscribe button like button and share with your friends and family and please motivate me to make such amazing videos with for you okay and thanks for watching stay tuned with me thank you